What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. For those of you who haven't heard about this by now, the Golden State Warriors have actually gone out and made another pretty significant move for them in free agency with it currently being reported that they have officially signed Naman Bialica to a one year deal and this is all being reported by Shams. So again, I actually really believe this to be a good deal because it just didn't really seem like Bealitz a fit in with the Miami Heat team. It seems like there's going to be, he's had a little bit of regression here and there. Like he's just not the, um, you know, catch and shoot player that he previously was, you know, in the last couple of seasons with the Sacramento Kings. Kind of got to the Miami Heat and it was a really weird trade for them because they, they seem to like, you know, wanted to get him in to create more of a three-point shooting you know, more three-point shooting help for the team. But then, there were often times like you'd watch and he was not used correctly at all. And this is the thing, I think with the Golden State Warriors, with a team that does a lot of screens, you know, with James Wiseman, who continuously, he continuously grow, like James Wiseman will be so much better. He'll be a, you know, much better rebounder this year. He'll perform screens more effectively. And then you got, you know, Draymond Green to help out with James Wiseman. Both of them can you know, set a lot of screens and are both really good at it and doing, like, pick-and-roll plays. But the other thing is, we notice that the Golden State Warriors do a lot of off-ball plays where, like, Draymond Green and James Wiseman will screen, like, random defenders to try and create someone open. I think this will... It could work for Naman B. Elite. So the issue I see with him is the dude's getting slow. Like, he is getting really, really slow to the point where I don't really know how effective be elite as it can be for a team anymore. In my opinion, though, he is a really good signing for the Golden State Warriors because I think if he gets his three-point shooting back up, again, he was only 31% last season, but the season before that, he was 42%. I think if he can get back to his 42% season, then he'll be great for the Warriors. My issue is I don't think that he can. And the reason why I'm saying this is because this dude has regressed quite a bit to the point where the Miami Heat, the only time this dude could score was, like, there were times where the only time he could score is if he was just directly open in the corner or something like that. He's gotten slow, is what I'm trying to say. And getting, like, getting open for screen plays is going to be an issue for Bay Elite Zone, something the Warriors will have to try and deal with. But I think if you've got, you know, Steph Curry breaking down the offense and, you know, if Clay Thompson's back all healthy, defenders are going to be worrying about Steph Curry and Clay Thompson so much like we've seen both of those players previously get double teamed really so much so again when we look at both of them you know potentially getting double teamed consistently next season then it creates space for open shooters Steph Curry will create space he's a great playmaker he'll get double teamed he'll drive to the you know the basket or something like that and then he'll flip it out and then there will be Naman Bealitsa standing in the corner and he'll be open and if this dude can get back to his 42% from three season, if you can get a guy like this on the minimum, that is going to be absolutely fantastic for them. Now, I'm assuming he's going to play a bit of backup power forward minutes, maybe a bit of backup center minutes here and there. Because, you know, again, he's not obviously good enough to be a center or defend the center position, but let's be honest here, they, um, they love to run small ball in Golden State. So I could see it potentially happening... The thing is, too, I don't think he'll get more than 10 minutes per game. I can't see him getting minutes over, you know, Draymond Green and James Wiseman. Like, both of them are going to be playing more than 30 minutes per game next season. Then you have to factor in Jonathan Kaminga, who should get a decent amount of minutes. He should get around, I think, 10 to 15 minutes per game next season. You got Eric Pascal as well. I just think that this dude, if they're like a fully healthy team, he'll probably struggle to play 10 minutes per game. If they've got a couple of injuries here and there, then he might play like the 10 to 20 minutes per game. So either way, it was a good signing because he adds actually a lot of depth to this Golden State Warriors team, in my opinion, which is, of course, exactly what they needed. So it just makes a lot of sense for them to, you know, go out and sign the Mount Bay Elitza. Now they've got a really interesting core, you know, Steph Curry... Andrew Wiggins, uh, Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, James Wiseman, Draymond Green, Eric Pascal, Damian Lee, uh, Naman Bialica, Otto Porter, 
um, Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga. You've just got depth right now, like an insane depth. And I've probably missed a couple of players. Like, they'll, they'll be going out and signing some more players. There's rumors they're interested in Joe Ingles, which I will most likely be making a video on very, very shortly. So, it's really interesting how the Golden State Warriors are, of course, going to go about this offseason. I'm really keen to see who else they're going to go sign. So, of course, I am very, very excited. But, of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel uh, of course, for all the latest NBA news and NBA content, don't forget to subscribe to my IRL slash vlog channels. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well, if you haven't already, which I will all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>